Hey, hello everybody. How are you? Leroy here, Cake Admin of It's Just Shaving. And this is day six of the Shave Act tutorials. I will be going over my tips and tricks for using the Shave at Kamasori style. Um, this is a CJB Kamasori. It uses Feather Artist Club blades, which just, you just pinch the spine here to open the, yeah, I'm not sure what it's called, but <laughs> then you just drop a blade inside of there and you, you're good to go. This is a, um, so there's quite a few different types of blades <clears throat> that could work in here, but um, that's not what this is about. So obviously this is a, it's a shave head that does not fold, so it's a straight style. And this is the first shave head that I ever used, and it's the one that I feel more comfortable with. So I will just be kind of going over some things that help me out. Um, so let's, let's get rolling into it. As you can see, I've got lather on. Um, I thought it fitting to be using the group soap for this, so it's just cake. Uh, it's great, great smell. Oh, I love it. Um, okay. From what I what I what I've learned. Um, there's really no difference in this style shave head or the folding style as far as the shave goes. Um, <clears throat> what's worked for me is prep. Uh, I always sh shave after a shower. So I make sure my beard is nice and wet. Um, lather, I prefer it to be on the wetter side. Um, it just works better for the, for the blade to slide down. Um, so as always, you know, you, you start if you're left-handed, right-handed, whichever works better for you, just you gotta feel comfortable with it. Um, I tend to start with the right side, and I reach over with my left hand and I grab the above the sideboard and I pull the skin tight. That seems to be very uh, like one of the number one tips, right? Tight skin. Um, what I'll tend to do is <clears throat> I won't go straight into the angle. I'll usually kind of lay it flat against the head and kind of angle it, and then kind of move the, 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 the razor up and down until I find an angle where it starts cutting. So first, the other thing um, that's pretty important is to figure out your growth. So, you know, if your beard grows this way, maybe it's better if you start like this. If your beard grows down, you know, you start north to south. So my beard tends to grow like this. So my with the grain pass kind of sort of, sort of is like a hybrid pass of with and, ag and against or yeah with and cross <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and get started here so you know it's kind of tricky to see so you kind of have to take your time line up where the sideburns are put that angle in there start stroking like that now light touch some people like to go long strokes but me I'm still learning, so short strokes work better for me. What you can imagine when you're when you're going down the side of your face, imagine just wiping the lather off. Okay, that's the goal. The blade will cut, rinse off. And then grab down lower, pull that skin up. Take your time. It's not a race. Okay. You see, pulling the skin up actually got most of the jawline. See that? Ooh, just like that. And then just kind of cut as low far down as you can. There. Rinse off the blade. And then now my method is after I get that first as far as I can on my right side, excuse me, then I go to the mustache area. Now the mustache area, it's a little bit tricky because you kind of have to come in a little bit steep and kind of scoop um, right right here under the, the nose. 
careful, like careful, very careful. Just kind of go in there, barely make contact, and then just come down. You know, it's inevitable, like when you're starting to DE shave, you're going to cut yourself. That's just part of the game, right? Um, here I'll kind of go kind of across like this because my beard does kind of grow like this. So, and right here it kind of goes like, it's kind of, as they say, like a star pattern, it kind of goes everywhere. <laughs> so... But for me, it works pretty good if I go like that. The other thing is, you'll have to see what works better for you. Do you want like a shallow angle or do you want something kind of steep? So it really depends on you. You're going to have to just kind of play around to see what works best for you, what's more comfortable for you. But the lip, I kind of push, pull my lip against my bottom teeth to kind of make the skin really tight. Again, the short strokes. So for me, I'm still fairly new about this. And that's, I think that was kind of important for the series is get a couple new guys just so you guys can see what our perspectives are. I've only been doing maybe six months, a little bit longer than six months now, I think, and I might have 30 shades on this bad boy. That's about it. <laughs> so I'm still, in my mind, I'm still very, very new at this. You know, it's, it's, I think Frank's, Frank Stromberg said this, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. As long as it works for you and it's comfortable for you, you're going to have to experiment with a lot of different methods. Like for my cross grain passes, I'm still kind of working on, do I want to go like this? But we'll get to that on my next pass. Okay, so for me, this is comfortable for now. So now I'm going to go over to my left side and do the exact same thing. Reach over with my right hand, pull the skin tight, get the blade against where my sideburn is, put that angle and just kind of stroke until I find the cutting angle. Slow and deliberate. It's not a race. Just think about wiping, wiping the leather off, okay? You know, the most common shave it is the folding type, right? Which takes a lot of different types of blades. You have DE blades, you got Feather Artist Club blades, you got half DE blades. Then there's, uh, I didn't know about this, but there was a, there's a longer size blade that the Dovos take, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, but Frank was talking about it in his, um, his little tutorial thing. Right, let me just move more here. Or a pimple right there. Good thing I didn't cut it yet. <laughs> All right. All right. So now the other side of the, the mustache, same thing, just kind of make it tight and I'm going to kind of do this little scooping action. Another method you can do is kind of puff a little bit of air into your cheeks to kind of flatten the surface out.
now I'm coming to do my chin. I'm, I'm still weak on this area. Something else you want to make sure that you have that you're comfortable with the soap. You know it's very slick, um, just so that way when you're practicing practicing with this, you know the soap isn't the problem, right? It's your your technique. <clears throat> Something else I'll do is I'll kind of pull down here just to kind of make it a little tighter. Now I kind of have to stop in this area because my neck hair, <clears throat> excuse me, goes up like this. So I'll only go down a little ways. There. I got an ingrown hair right there. I'm not sure what where it came from, but it is what it is. Um, another tip: make sure your hands are dry. These things can get kind of slippery. This one has a really good rubber grip, so it's actually pretty good. But Now, this hair is going to be with, since it goes this way, so with the grain, I'm going to have to wet it a little bit. Don't be afraid to wet. Okay. Alright. Same thing, you got to bite the skin tight and sort of get the area flat. Check it, not too bad. Okay. Now I can't, I'm not comfortable doing it like this yet, so I keep it in my right hand and just kind of do a grip like this. So move my hair out of the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get crap for that. You know, when you do this, you don't want to have any distractions. Take your time. Slight touch. Yep, see, I cut myself. It's okay, though. Really, really good first pass. Rinse off. Now, at this point, some people will stop and they will switch to a DE. Nothing wrong with that. Go as far as you're comfortable with going. If you want to keep going for, for a second pass, lather up and go again. Otherwise, stop, pull out your DE, and just finish off the shave. Takes time, like anything, you gotta practice. Now, 
because I don't, I'm not real comfortable with my left hand, you know, I tend to do my cross grain with one hand. So with my left side, I just bring, come over like this, pull my ear tight, puff out some air in my cheek, and then just kind of pull it. So with Shave at Shaves, I don't go for BBS. I just go for damn fine. <laughs> Whatever is socially acceptable. All right, now I'm gonna, I don't go against the grain. So for the most part, I could just kind of make it tight and then kind of come like this. One thing I like about the Kamasori is you can use this tip to really get in there and get those hairs under the nose. Sometimes the shavettes, they get a big old gap, right? Because of the DE blade. So now for the other side, I kind of come like this. I still hold the ear and puff out, the, puff out my cheeks and come at it like this. Too bad. Then just kind of clean it up right here with the grain again. Good enough for government work. Okay, now against the grain. So, I'm, like I said, I'm still not very good about this part of my neck. Just kind of get it as flat as I can against the skin and then kind of just buff it. I think I cut myself right there. It's okay. Same thing on the other side, left hand. Well, like the ease, you have to experiment with the lead, see what works for you. Let's try to clean up my chin now. Right, put a little bit of that on.
Open up the chin a little bit, maybe my neck. Oop, just dropped it. Well, that's pretty good. I'm still working against the grain right here. Had a couple of tips to try to keep the blade flat when you go against the grain. And it seems to work pretty good. You see it's a little bit rough here. I can't quite get that right there. But I think that's good, gentlemen and ladies. I hope um, you learned something. Let me uh, I'm gonna rinse off really quick here. So I'm pretty good. Just still my normal trouble spots. Um, all right. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, my shave was kind of fun. Had a pretty good shave actually. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and clean up, do my post shave and stuff off camera, all right? Um, until next time, everybody. Hope you all have a good night. And I think next in line, Kenny Rebro. Take care, everybody. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.